Good morning, Bird Brains, and welcome to Hey Bird, What's the Word, where we cover news and events happening in the motorcycle industry. I'm your host, Justin Bird, and if you'd like to stay up to date on all things two wheels, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. On today's episode, we're talking about leaked images around the 2023 Harley-Davidson CVOs. Let's get into it. While most of Harley's 2023 lineup has already been released, we still haven't seen or heard any news regarding the new CVOs. Until now, that is. Leaked images from Harley-Davidson's York, PA assembly plant started popping up online, featuring two shots of the Road Glide and one shot of the Street Glide. All three pictures showed quite drastic design changes. The Road Glide getting an elongated headlight with some little wings coming off the side, and the Street Glide receiving more of an angled front fender, covering the headlight a little bit with some marking lights, which I'm assume will also be operating as turn signals. But the real talk starts when you zoom in on the picture taken from the side of the Road Glide. Stamped on the Derby cover is a set of three numbers that we haven't seen yet from Harley Davidson. 121. Now that the ST models are all featuring M8117s, we all knew it was just a matter of time before we saw a bigger motor in the CVO models. But also in this side shot, we see a few more upgrades. Inverted forks and a pair of radial mount Brembo stamped calipers. Perhaps this is Harley's first real step in taking the CVO lineup, which has historically been fancy paint and a big motor, into something that is focused a little bit more on handling as well. But just days after the initial leak, we got another picture that shows a little bit more of a close-up of the 121, which revealed a big secret. Variable valve timing, or VVT. While not publicly stated just yet, it was safe to assume that Harley's big boy bangers were going to get VVT sooner rather than later, since HD has already adapted the VVT technology in the Revolution Max engines, such as what's in the Pan America. But the changes might not stop there. Some keen eyes pointed out a change in the transmission cover, which might point to a change inside the gearbox. Some are even speculating that it might be the addition of a reverse gear. I've got a confession to make. With the exception of the Battleship Grey Road Glide CVO that came out in 2018, there hasn't been a single CVO that I've considered purchasing. If you do the math, you can get pretty much everything from a CVO put onto your bike at a much lower cost. But I get the appeal. It's a turnkey, all boxes check, limited production bike. But I personally enjoy working on bikes, making them my own, which just feels wrong to do anything limited edition. But I'll say this, after the release of the absolutely hideous 2023 CVO Road Glide Limited, which I deemed the please boomers buy one more bike before you die edition, I'm liking what I'm seeing from this limited view that we've gotten on the CVOs. Whilst I love the current look of the Road Glide, I own one personally, we haven't seen any real changes in the design since 2014. And with other frame-mounted fairing bikes such as the Yamaha Venture and the Indian Challenger looking like they are decades ahead as far as design goes, it was time for a change. But if I've learned anything about new models, it's to reserve all judgment until you get eyes, hands, and your butt on that bike. I've been your host, Justin Bird, and that is the word. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.